Hey there, quirky peeps. Today we're unraveling a mind-blowing theory that connects Wolverine's tragic past to a Spider-Man villain and could potentially explain the noticeable absence of the X-Men in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Buckle up, because this is going to get wild. First off, let's talk about Wolverine's current state in the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my problem. Is that what you said when your world went to sh The trailers have dropped some heavy hints that this Wolverine, played by Hugh Jackman, isn't from the universe we've been familiar with. Instead, he seems to hail from a universe where he faced catastrophic failure. A character in the trailer ominously states, this Wolverine let down his entire world. This Wolverine let down his entire world. This statement is purposely ambiguous, typical of Marvel's style, to keep us guessing and theorizing. And theorize we have. The hint suggests a monumental disaster in Wolverine's world, one that possibly led to its downfall. But what could have been so catastrophic? This leads us into our first major theory. In the rich tapestry of Marvel comics, there's a storyline in Old Man Logan where Wolverine is deceived by none other than Mysterio, the master illusionist and Spider-Man antagonist. In this storyline, Mysterio uses his powers to trick Wolverine into believing that the X-Men are actually a host of invading villains. Under this illusion, Wolverine tragically kills all the X-Men, leading to immense guilt in his eventual self-imposed exile. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go yourself. Translating this to the MCU, the theory suggests that a similar storyline could have played out in Wolverine's universe in Deadpool and Wolverine. Perhaps Mysterio, utilizing his expertise in deception, manipulated Wolverine into causing the downfall of his world's superheroes, specifically the X-Men. The gravity of such an act would certainly justify the line about Wolverine letting down his entire world. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do. Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. This theory isn't just compelling. It's also a clever way to integrate Wolverine into the broader Marvel Universe, now that the character rights are back with Marvel Studios' post-Fox acquisition. It allows for a fresh interaction between Wolverine and other Marvel characters, such as Mysterio, potentially played by Jake Gyllenhaal again, exploring more depth in the multiverse narrative. We could use someone like you on my world. Thanks. I'm sorry, your world? Uh, Mr. Beck is from Earth, just not yours. If this theory holds, it has significant implications for the MCU. It provides a backstory filled with depth and tragedy for Wolverine's character, setting up a redemption arc in the MCU. It also cleverly explains why characters from Wolverine's universe, especially the X-Men, haven't appeared in the MCU yet. They were all tragically eliminated. Furthermore, this storyline can enrich the MCU's exploration of the multiverse, showcasing how actions in one universe can have ripple effects across others. This could lead to complex and exciting narratives about responsibility, guilt, and redemption, themes that are already prominent in Marvel's storytelling. There are multiple realities, Peter. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 833. Moving on to another fascinating theory. This one suggests that Hugh Jackman's Wolverine in Deadpool and Wolverine might actually be the MCU's original Logan. This theory stems from the recent trailers where it's revealed that Wolverine feels guilty about a past event where he let down his world. Eventually, you're gonna hang up the claws. But one day, your old pal Wade's gonna ask you to get back in the saddle again. And when he does, say yes. What if in the MCU, Wolverine was responsible for a tragedy that wiped out the X-Men, Perhaps under the manipulation of a powerful enemy like Cassandra Nova or a mind-controlling scenario, Wolverine could have been forced into a situation where he accidentally or unknowingly caused the deaths of his fellow mutants. This would provide a profound reason for the absence of the X-Men in the MCU narrative. It positions Wolverine as a tragic figure, haunted by his past actions, which aligns with the character's portrayal as tormented and complex. This setup also allows Marvel Studios to reintroduce the X-Men into the MCU slowly, perhaps as they discover the truth about their disappearance and work towards rebuilding what was lost. You were the X-Men. I am soaking wet right now. Despite these dark theories, the future could still be bright for the X-Men in the MCU. The concept of multiverse incursions introduced in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness offers a plausible scenario where the X-Men from another universe could merge with the main MCU timeline. Additionally, with rumors of an MCU reboot looming post-Avengers Secret Wars, there's potential for a complete reintroduction of the X-Men alongside other major teams like the Avengers and the Fantastic Four. This could reset the stage, allowing Marvel to integrate the X-Men from the ground up in the new narrative framework of the MCU. Let's go! Let's go. 
To wrap up, these theories not only offer a fascinating glimpse into what could be a deeply compelling narrative for Wolverine and the X-Men in the MCU, but they also showcase the storytelling prowess Marvel Studios wields. Whether these theories will pan out or not remains to be seen, but one thing is for sure, the journey will be nothing short of spectacular. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe for more theories and updates on your favorite superheroes and movies. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Wolverine was manipulated by Mysterio? What's your take on the X-Men's absence in the MCU? Let's discuss in the comment section. That's all for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Mind putting your mask back on? Super hard to eat while I'm wearing it. It's super hard to eat when you're not.